Liquid. Ocelot, please. Snake, they've input both detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to use the card key to re-input the codes. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. They're not even looking. <laughs> Damn, they're so smug, they're not even gonna look at me die. Liquid, he lied to me. He said he was gonna enjoy watching me die. And then he turned around. He truly is the villain of the game. And watching me die involves just one guard shooting at me till I'm dead. Insidious. Snake, come what come may. Time and the hour runs through the roughest day. We're almost out of time, Snake. Please hurry. You're the only one who can stop them from launching that nuke. But I could also... Oh no! My foolproof plan. I was gonna rack up those kills. You gotta get to Master Sergeant Mega <laughs> General in order to get a detonation code stopper. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the other way Meryl will drop one off for me. The terrorists are finished inputting the detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to re-input the detonation codes to lock the detonation mechanism. You need that key to do it. Find that key, Snake. There's no other way. Wait. You just need to re-input the detonation code? How did they do it? The first uh, time. They have both the codes. They got one from uh, the Armsec president and one from uh, the DARPA chief. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it! They've already entered the detonation code! The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. I dropped it in the ditch. Even if you don't have the key, can't you just get the detonation codes from... from who? Hausman or something? You think Jim Hausman has time to pay attention to this operation? Probably. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind detector? Yes. The mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. I am glad that no one is angry at Snake for dropping it in the drainage <laughs> They just can't show it on the phone. Uh, so the cool thing is, if you hadn't picked up the mind detector before... Stupid mouse. Uh, if you hadn't picked up the mind detector before, it'll show up in this room, and it'll show up in the room with all those cameras and the waterfall. You have ample access to get a mind detector if you didn't pick it up before. Snake in China, they say, when walking through a melon patch, don't adjust your sandals. That means that when things get really bad, you have to try to remember what's important. Keep things in the proper perspective, okay? I mean, what's a little bit of radioactive wastewater in relation to the grand scheme of things? It's just one cigarette, Snake. We're gonna hurt. That is not a car key. <laughs> Um, so, sometimes, uh, well, the key's not in the drainage ditch. Sometimes a rat has eaten the key. Oh, and also that bomb had 15 seconds on it. I almost forgot to throw it away. Whoop! <laughs> it's got a little ricochet. Um, so if you've played the game, and up to this point have less than 10 alert phases, a rat eats the key. You're doing too good. Gotta throw, throw a wrench at you. Snake, a rat ate that key. You'll have to get it back. Follow the rat's route. That sounds absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> There's no way Bastard could be right about that. So remember last time we were trying to do something with a thermal uh, shape memory alloy. There were a bunch of hamsters. There were a lot of hamsters we had to kill. Oh. <laughs> Snake. Get that card key back from the rat. Why don't you watch its route and set up a trap for it with a C4 or something? Won't you blow up the freaking key? <laughs> Look at that card key go. I got a rat detector. Oh. 
He's zooming across the water. <laughs> He's skitting so fast. Uh. So we can't just camp on the rat. He gets scared. <laughs> if you're gonna kill, you might as well overkill. In China, they say, the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but, snake, believe in yourself. You're right, this is wrong. This is much more my style. Yes, snake. Consume that rat like the snake you are. <laughs> this isn't working. How's that not blow up the C4? Always use the most appropriate weapon for the situation. If you use a weapon that's not really doing the job, not only are you wasting ammo, but you're also putting your life in danger. Would a claymore mine? Yeah, make more sense. Hey! What? Wait, what? So you don't actually have to kill the rat if you just scare it enough times, it'll drop the <laughs> it'll drop the key for you. Oh. For people that just can't figure out how to kill the rat. It just throws it up from nausea or something? <laughs> no, actually I spooked it by uh scaring it with a grenade that time. You got the card key back? Good job. Now hurry to the control room. How does it get rid of the key, though? How did, oh, you're right. Because it, it swallowed it. Scared the key out of him. It's just something natural that the, the body does when it gets scared. And you know, rats always eating thermal keys. Memory shape well, alloys. Favorite <laughs> sometimes, meal. You, you, if you're just trying to get a hot meal, you'll settle for a meal that changes shape when it is hot. You got the card key. Good. Now get back to the control room, and use that key to re-input the PAL codes. Stop that launch! Weren't there rations down there? Yeah. Wouldn't those be better meals than a <laughs> card key? You found the card key, right? First comes the room temperature key. Put it into the far left terminal in the control room. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Well, if it's an IC card and I need it to be room temperature, I better go warm it up. Just dangle it over the the molten steel is probably the hottest pot. It's probably in my pocket. So if I just shimmy, shimmy my pocket right over the lava here. Um, it takes five minutes if you want to get this key hot right now. So we're in. Oh, there it is. Snake, the card key changed shape. That's no good. Change it back. Hmm. What? Okay. Uh, okay, now. Now that it is cold. Snake, the card key changed shape. You've got to change it back to room temperature. I like that they're able to monitor Snake being <laughs> in the furnace and the cold room, <laughs> but won't commentate until the key actually changes shape. Snake, the surveillance camera. When you insert the card key, don't let it see you. Try using your chaff. You could probably use a box, too. Hmm? Oh. Wrong. 
Oh. My rations are also frozen. Oh, that's why. The key is wrong because it's the blue key. I need to plug it into the blue terminal. Of course. Is that the wrong one? Damn. Why does my brain not work? This isn't supposed to be a hard puzzle. Uh, maybe? Process of elimination. One, two, there's three terminals. Wrong key. Hmm? And now you're locked out. <laughs> Metal Gear deactivated. Curl, I used the key three times. I'm stumped. Damn it, Snake. Now you have to reset your password. <laughs> Snake, what was the street you grew up on? <laughs> what was the color of your first car? I need you to think. Did you have a best friend? <laughs> oh, okay. You got the card key back? Good job. Hurry and input it. Before it gets any more of another temperature snake, please. Now it's time to freeze this key. Wrong key. There are so many different voice clips for not putting the key in at the right time. You've got to lower that card key's temperature. Find some place cold. I can't think of one single cold place on Shadow Moses Island. Now freeze that key. Get somewhere cold. Oh. You must mean in cold blood, like committing murder. No? I thought I was playing an action game. Psychomantis was able to tell that I didn't like puzzle games. Played Smash, huh? <laughs> That's it, Snake. Smash the key. Snake, don't warm that card key. Cool it down. Find some place cool. Hmm? Uh, uh, this is a pretty cool area, I gotta say. Next, you've got to cool the card key. Where should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. But you're close to the warehouse where you fought Raven, right? That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and there's no heater either. Uh, he's, he's right. That was a much more convenient place to go. Plus, it gives me an excuse to use this elevator. So the way the card key works is, if it's not time to change temperature to cold or hot, it takes five minutes for it to do so. But if it is the proper time, it only takes the one minute. The 
Guard key changed shape. Hurry up to the control room, Snake. Snake, I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. No, I'm right about this. <laughs> Snake, haven't you ever thought that Naomi might be a rat? Snake, if it's about Naomi, I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. The key changed shape. Hurry to the control room and input it. I have 10 minutes before it thaws out. I'm gonna take a little detour. John? Well, that was productive. I succeeded in wasting your time and my own. The what the? I wasted too much time. Snake, look at the card key. It changed to its original shape. You'll have to change it again. My hubris. <laughs> All right, let's return to the nearest cold area I can think of. My screen is fogging up. It's so cold. Do you recognize this area? Yes. It's a Gatling gun. Snake, it looks like you changed the card key's shape correctly. Go and put it into the middle terminal in the control room before it warms up and changes back to its original shape. Okay, last time I'm pretty sure they didn't mention that, that second thing. Oh, it changed back to its original shape. Now this is a long shot, but maybe. Is that the wrong one? First, you have to change the shape of the last key. There's always a catch. It's like when you're at the forgot your password form, you're like, okay, maybe it is the password I've been putting in. I mean, it should be. I'll just try it again. Now you've got to warm it. You need to find some place hot. Hot button murder? Can you think of any hot place in Shadow Moses Island? Uh, I think there was a microwave in the break area? <laughs> yeah, Snake, just microwave the card with all of the world saving data on it. I. The radiation did not do anything to it, so... Micro-radiation can't hurt it. Snake, I need you to microwave a rat for me. <laughs> oh yeah, just put it back in the rat. Yeah. I knew not killing that rat would pay off. Snake, 
Somewhere warm? What about the blast furnace? But the problem is, if you go through a cold place on the way back, the card key might change shape. You need to hurry on the way back. I know you've been taking a leisurely pace through the rest of this excursion, Snake. Yeah, so uh, the mine detector will be sitting up on that uh, platform to the right. Oh! They've added guards. Oh, it's not just the ravens now having guns <laughs> vision. Gar the ravens are walking around on two feet like human beings. Hey, they stole the Gatling gun off the ground. One of those guards is extremely packing, and you won't know which until you get an alert. I heard ravens are scavengers. Maybe one of them ate the Gatling gun. <laughs> They're opportunistic scavengers. They apparently ate uh, Vulcan Raven skeleton before, so... That's it, they eat the Gatling gun. No, I'm sure of it. <laughs> gonna punch every single raven here. It's just spook them until a Gatling gun pops out. about Naomi Hunter. Then you should talk to the Colonel. He's looking into it. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the Colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Dye? No. Fox Dye. Liquid and the others were talking about it. Yeah. It's some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details, but... What are you trying to say? It's too similar. What is? The cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, die of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, Fox Die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? The nanomachines. She was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the Colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you find out anything. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi, I can't believe it. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Do you know how much radioactive water I've waited through today alone? <laughs> it's not cold in here, that's just my breath. Yeah, radiation therapy probably killed off the fox and I. Yeah, what if it's like a it's like a um dueling death situation? The radiation has killed the virus. Snake Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel thinking? Campbell is... I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe me, I'm here to help you until the end. Uh, that second part sounded kind of obvious. <laughs> <laughs> A 
Are we gonna get betrayed by every single person on my codec? <laughs> Otacon, I trusted you. This is deep throat. Trust there, me. There's not a bomb in front of you. <laughs> the door on the left. <laughs> Actually, you need to freeze the key again right now. wasn't acting strangely or anything? No, I just can't believe that Naomi is an enemy spy. I refuse to accept that. I don't want to believe it either, but... Don't say it, Snake. Naomi's an enemy spy? I can't believe it. I don't want to believe it either, but... Snake, leave it to Colonel Campbell. You've got to concentrate on re-inputting that detonation code. You're right. Does Otacon know who Naomi is? <laughs> <laughs> now you've got to warm the key up. Find some place hot. Oh, I guess yeah. this is the wrong place. This is a little too hot for my taste. Oh, oh, oh. Snake, what are you doing? You're supposed to warm it, not cool it. Look for a warm place. Hmm. Oh, I think rats burrow for warmth. This is pretty warm, right? This door looks pretty promising. Oh, actually, I remember now that we're out here, there was one door we've never gone into. It could be, it could be hot in here. The only level seven door we oh. have to backtrack to find. <laughs> <laughs> it's under the most, the most perfect security. Aw. Hmm, what's this? The uh, wolf, look out! He's coming straight for me. <laughs> Snake! He's so dangerous. You're lucky I'm under arrest right now, Snake, or I'd chastise you. Oh. It was just stinger missiles. Well, if I got him, I might as well use him. I came all the way out here. The thing is invincible, but he can really get some air. Air wolf. Oh, my hubris. That's not the right shape. Hurry and warm it up. The blast furnace is probably the best place. Your rations are not in the right shape, Snake. They're frozen solid. I actually didn't put it to the test, but I'm gonna assume that uh, the rations thaw out in the furnace faster. The cool thing is though, um, once you put the frozen key into the terminal, it instantly thaws out when you step into the furnace from that point forward. Oh, uh, actually the, the heat updraft has heated my key immediately. You did it, that's the last one. Hurry to the control room! The rat skirts across and eats your key. <laughs> Yoink! So Naomi's a spy, just like I thought. Campbell is hiding something too. But that's okay. Fox dye is a virus, a biological weapon. There must be a vaccine. We can worry about getting that later, Snake. But right now, you've got to focus on re-inputting those detonation codes, okay? Well... Never mind. <laughs> Not be a vaccine as well. <laughs> I don't see why there has to be one. Does Master Miller ever get tired of being right? <laughs> so now that we've got the hot key, we've got 15 minutes to get it back to the command room. 
I cannot believe it. Dr. Naomi working with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either. But if what Campbell says is true... I know. Nastasha, have you ever heard of Fox Die? Fox Die? No, sorry. I never heard of it. Oh, well. Forget about it. It's <laughs> a cute little figure doing there. <laughs> Thank you. So it's not of Russian origin if Nastasha's never heard of it. Or I guess Ukrainian either. Colonel, what's new with Naomi? She's being interrogated, Snake. Leave her to me. You just worry about stopping Metal Gear. Please, Snake. I consider you my friend. Please believe that. So the real reason they had us backtrack uh, to heat up the key and freeze the key was to make us use these elevators multiple times. So they could drop a cutscene or a codec call. And uh, pad the length of the game from uh, five hours to five and a half. Pad in one more video. <laughs> Usually mashing the button made the elevator go faster. Oh, there's Snake! Oh. Look out, the ravens are weighing down your elevator, you're gonna crash! Snake, can you hear me? It's Naomi. Naomi? What the hell? Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi, is what the Colonel says true? Yes, but not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification, but my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from, my, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I, I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s, a dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation and he shared his rations with me. Yes. Frank Yeager. The man who you destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Grey Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them too. 
Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox... No. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox Dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages, they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart, where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then, they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Dye. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Dye as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Dye was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Master Miller can still make as many unauthorized transmissions as he <laughs> wants, though, right? <laughs> well, he's the master. He outranks, he outranks the colonel, who's not even really a colonel. Oh, yeah, you're right. Nastasha, I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know anything about Fox Die and the real nature of this operation? Sorry, I have not been told anything about that. That's funny. The Colonel said almost exactly the same thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound sarcastic. I believe you. I believe you, Colonel. You did say it first. <laughs> Does Snake have, like, separate monitors? He can, like... Let Nastasha listen to the calls. Oh. In China, they say it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Nick, promise me that you'll come back alive. I didn't get caught on purpose. And I might not have any time, according to the way Naomi's talking, so... Yep. Those are a lot of security cameras, so... <laughs> I can't really blame Dr. Naomi. 
I feel sorry for her. Ever since I was a little kid, I always hated my first name. How, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not a computer, I'm a human. My grandfather taking part in the Manhattan Project, my father being born on the day of the Hiroshima bomb, I hated every part of that. My name, my father, my grandfather, it felt like all those things were a ball and chain around my legs, dragging me down. But now that I think about it, I realize that I was blessed. At least I know who I am, where I came from. But Dr. Naomi didn't even know who her parents were, what her real name was. She must have been a very lonely little girl. Otacon. Sorry, Snake. I guess right now you should focus on re-inputting those PAL codes. Otacon, have you ever heard a fox die? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Snake, I've never been told anything about that. So Naomi used fox die to take her revenge on you. Yeah. But she said she wasn't the one who made the decision to use it. According to her, it was just one part of this operation. Hmm. If this goes all the way up to Campbell, it might not be so easy to get that vaccine. Oh well. Forget about it. <laughs> Master Forget about it. <laughs> Master thought of everything. Even how hard it is going to be to get that vaccine. Alright, it's the last. Finally, the last inputting of the PAL key. I got distracted by a lot, but now this is what I was doing. Looks like the key doesn't fit. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 it cooled off. Snake, look at the card key. It changed back. You have to change it again. Hot enough. <laughs> Looks like you changed the shape correctly. The last card key goes in the far right terminal in the control room. But be careful. If you're in a cold place for too long, it'll change back to its original shape. You need to hurry. You got 15 minutes to get back there. It cools off one and a half times faster in the, fr in the uh, freezer. The key changed shape. Hurry to the control room. That's the last key. Master, I've never heard you so excited. <laughs> God, I just love inputting these keys. Boy, howdy, Snake, I can't get enough of being right. I told you the order, I told you it needed to be hot now, and I was right. Oh, so that's why Otacon designed Metal Gear like this. That ball and chain around his legs. You still haven't input the final card key. Hurry to the control room. Oh man, I thought I could I thought I could activate Metal Gear. Ride him like a dinosaur. Oh yeah, can't you just sabotage Metal Gear instead? <laughs> Hurry up and get to the control room. Input that last key. That key is not the only thing getting hot. And I'm in Alaska. I'm not gonna take any chances this time. I'm putting this key in. Oh, I haven't blew up the security camera outside the room. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Master, what's going on? 
You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't able to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. What do you mean? Without the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake, so I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the encounter, thanks to Fox Die. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? <laughs> you didn't think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. But once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. Ah, oh, poor fool. Who are you, anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake, that's not Master Miller. Campbell, you're too late. Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know because my codec link with Master was cut off, but Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking to... Me, dear brother. Liquid, how the... You've served your purpose. You may die now. That was an awful disguise! How did I fall for that? Uh... <laughs> no did one you... noticed the transmission was coming from the base before? Why didn't you guys check that? Why is it liquid smart enough to spoof that? Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can't you open the security lock here? I'll try. Just hold on for a minute. So at what point did you realize that that was Liquid Sneak? Right when he betrayed me? When he called you and like, you fool. Snake, gas, do something. Snake, call Emmerich. He should be able to break through security. Because he was still putting on the accent that whole time until Campbell popped up. He was still doing the master voice. Come on, hurry up already. Hang on. He even um, spoofed the credits. The opening credits mentioned James Flinders as his voice actor, but that's not a person that exists. Snake, you are in danger. Get out of there. Yeah, but how? Isn't there someone who knows this base? Dr. Emmerich, maybe he can do something. Master Miller, I need to get out of this room. I'm out of time. Just hold on a little longer. <laughs> so you can go back and watch now in the Hind D fight. Mm -hmm. We never could call Master. <laughs> Master would not pick up during that fight. Snake, Emmerich will be able to open the door. Just trust him and hang on. Otacon! Almost there! Hold on! I can make this code much more efficient, Snake.
There's a syntax error here somewhere. I just have to find it. All you can do is wait for Dr. Amrock to open the door. Stay alive, Snake. Try and conserve your breath by moving as little as possible. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. <gasps> hey. <laughs> what? Who was that? Is that Meryl? There was a shirtless man at the bottom of the staircase, and I intend to crawl and find out who it was. Was that Master Miller? Very close by. <laughs> <laughs> Snake, come out, step outside and see me. But that was, that was a fake, a fake invitation because he just locked the door and tried to kill me again. Uh, so I guess the input codes really could only be put in once. <laughs> it, oh, damn it. That's why that's a thing. We can't undo it now. Whoops. I designed it perfectly. 